How are you? Good. A lot better than Yeah, a lot before. better. Yeah. Okay, I understand you just got done with some uh, physical therapy and stuff like that? Yeah, they came to the house like three times a week and they just like stretch out and stuff. And then yesterday the doctor released me for outpatient. Pretty so, excited about that? Yeah. Take us through some of the injuries you sustained and um, why you have to go through physical therapy. I had a fracture in my heel, a fracture down here, and then uh, and then I had a break in my knee. They put two screws to put it together, and then I had a skin graft on the back, and yeah. Okay, so I know you also injured your, your hand as well, right? Yeah, it, severed, it cut my hand and severed a nerve in my hand, so can't really feel this part of my finger. But Is that something that's temporary or something you expect to kind no, of deal with? Probably have, end up having to deal with it. So how many uh, procedures or surgeries have you have you gone through so far? Uh, eight. Eight? Yeah, I had three surgeries and then they did, I had a wound back on my leg and they, they, they had to do dressing changes on that and they had to do that five times while I was in the hospital. I found out yesterday that I'll have to have like one more surgery to be able to repair the nerve that that got cut and severed or whatever. And so either I have to go to the uh, Stanford or UCSF to get like a second opinion on it. And then we'll have to eventually have to have that done for me to be able to like have a full like function in my foot. I definitely want to get back if I can. So anything, I mean, anything they have to do, I'm all for it. And that they, whatever, whatever they need to do, I'll let them do it. So whether it be tendon transplant or doing just anything, you know, I'm all for it. It's almost been a month and a half, almost two months since, you know, everything's happened. Um, have you found your ability to cope with the situation uh, oh, yeah, you know, a improving lot a lot better? Yeah, I'm a lot, like, at peace with it now. And it's, I mean, it's part of my life now, so there's really nothing you can do about it. I pretty much uh, wake up, and I'll get up and eat breakfast, and then I'll sit back down and play video games, and if there's something like, if there's like something I can go out and do, I'll do it. Like today I went, I, went, I had physical therapy and went and I went and visited some teachers at the school just to get out of the house. Uh, football games, my girlfriend's volleyball games, just anything to get out of the house pretty much. Kind of serve as a, a distraction for you a little bit? Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just nice to get, be able to get out of the house and not have to, because sitting in the hospital for almost a month was definitely like an eye opener. How has that been, being able to go out? It's and, a lot uh, better than sitting in a hospital room all day and all night. It's like refreshing kind of to be able to just get out and go see people and s instead of being in a hospital bed where I was just, I didn't, I couldn't go anywhere and it's pretty much just lying in the room. Did you know about him and his story before? Yeah, uh, he actually our old house. He brought his son to like look at it to to move them in, and we met him then. And then we were with some friends at the Fourth of July parade, and we kind of like met him and got to know him like really well there. And so then when he heard about what happened, he wanted to come and speak. Did it mean a lot to you that he came out and, and spoke? Yeah, it definitely helped a lot because it it was like pretty much the same situation except I still have my leg uh -huh. and my hand. So, did he um, did he offer any words of wisdom or any, any advice for you in, yeah, in this situation? Yeah, he offered a lot. I still think about it a lot too. Just being able, just like all the like how hard recovery is going to be and how it's. I mean, it's not baseball's not everything, and just being at like rehab is going to be hard. But I mean, it's worth it. It's great. It definitely helped a lot. Helped me deal with the whole situation. And just knowing that there's like so much support behind me, it really helped me through everything. Just like everybody that just came, like it was all just like almost overwhelming because there's just so many people like all the time. Like there's people in my room every day coming to hang out with me, bringing me stuff. Like not that I needed it, but just to be there and stuff. And it was pretty cool. Definitely helped a lot. What were some of the things that yeah, you received? Cards of the such? Oh or? yeah, I mean the Stockton Ports, Modesto Nuts, they, Nesto and Nuts brought some players, signed, they all signed a bat and gave it to me. Stockton Ports, Chaplin came, also brought a bat. I mean, 
my friend, or not my friend, a family friend, contacted the Boston Red Sox and they sent like a little package in the mail. I mean, just cards, people that I barely even know. Just, and other people just bring in like stuff. Like if I needed food, there's always someone willing to bring us food. Um, I can't, I mean, so much like candy, balloons, <laughs> that my room was filled with balloons. And just, just like, just a huge amount of support the whole time. So that's a big source of strength for you then, huh? Yeah. Especially when I came home, there's a lot of people in the front yard making signs and stuff like that. So it's nice to see everybody again. Has this been the longest break from the game for you? Yeah, for sure. I never took probably more than a month. So of course I want to play again, but I just want to be back to normal and be able to just walk around without crutches and being independent and not having to have people wait on me all the time. Well, just thank, thank God he's here. That's all that matters. Yeah. It was truly really touch and go. I mean, it's like so. Dr. Pinnell told him yesterday that he, you know, told him he's a miracle. It's just that, you know, one is, you know, you know, he was still alive, and two, that he was able to keep his leg. It was just, he told Lori yesterday, I said, you know, the amount of recovery he'd done is, is astonishing to doctors. You have the opportunity to talk to some of the people in the community who either, you know, donated money or put their time in or just showed support. What would you like to say to them? Just thank you. Like, it was, it was amazing. Like, I never expected all the support and just help that, like, helped me and my family and helped like take care of my sister and just like all the fundraisers and everything that like got put together is just amazing.